Last month, Microsoft held its Web Edge Developer Summit, and one of the key things that we were all looking for is what is Microsoft Edge's plan to support service workers. In this video, not only will I tell you what the plan is, I'll even show you how to use service workers in Microsoft Edge. Hey guys, this is Chris, the owner of Love to Dev, and today we're going to talk about Edge and service workers. That's right, Microsoft Edge, the browser, and what are the plans to ship service workers? Well, I'm a little late in this. I'm sorry about that. I really initially planned on doing this video probably about three weeks ago when I got back from Seattle and the Microsoft Edge Web Summit, but if you missed the announcement, and that might be partially due to me, um, last month in mid-September, Microsoft had a web developer event called the Microsoft Edge Web Summit, or Developer Edge Summit, anyway, uh, up in Seattle. And they had a whole day where they were doing uh, all kinds of presentations, really talking about what kit, what Edge can do, what the web can do, and doing a lot of showing off. And one of the main things that I think most of us were looking for was what is the story behind progressive web apps and service worker support. We got some answers on both fronts. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the service worker aspect. Now, I may be the number one guy who has just been super excited about service workers and Edge since I first heard about service workers. And I've been anxiously awaiting for about two years for Edge to support service workers. And I got a little closer at the, uh, the summit, but not all the way to where I wanted to be. And that is full consumer uh, shipping of service workers. So let's cover what's going on right now. Now, as I record this, it's, oh, I think uh, October 11th, 2017. And uh, on the 17th, which is next week, I believe next Tuesday, um, the fall creators edition of Windows will ship to the general consumer. And uh, basically, that means that the most of the people running Windows are going to get an update. When I say most, I have to uh, couch that in enterprises are always super slow to actually deploy changes, which is very unfortunate these days because they're really hurting themselves in a lot of ways. But at the same time, I do get why they do that on a delayed rollout. But I won't get into the politics and nuances of that. Today, let's just focus on service workers. Now, if you're like me and you are on the insider program, which means you get um, early previews of the latest version of Windows, uh, you probably already have the ability to turn on service workers in Edge. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So the roadmap is the Fall Creators Edition is shipping a version of Edge that has service workers uh, in there, but they're not lit, on, lit up by default. They're gated behind an about flag. And if you aren't familiar with about flags, this is how browsers are shipping early uh, implementations of new APIs and features. They're not going to be shipping those behind vendor prefix type stuff anymore. That has just created a giant mess. Again, won't go into that. Every browser, as far as I know, supports the about flag semantic. And the easy way to do that is to go to your address bar and to type about colon flags. And that will uh, bring up a page like this. In Edge, it's pretty short. In Chrome, it's like a million lines long because they just play with a billion things uh, letting you get to it. Now, the reason why uh, Edge or Chrome or Firefox or Opera or any of these other browsers will ship things like this is because they uh, write their implementation to the spec, to the, to the actual spec, whether that be uh, a W3C spec around HTML or, or, or a web API, or could it be JavaScript and they're doing it against the ECMAScript uh, spec, or it could be a CSS uh, implementation, the CSS modules, what have you. Uh, there's a variety of things that uh, they could be shipping um, 
a preview to it. It could be something internal, right? And this gives them the ability to, once they feel like they've got a reasonably stable beta version, they can put it out to people like me who will play with things a little ahead of time and they can get some telemetry on what is working and what's not working because they can't account for every crazy scenario that we come up with to write code. Um, and this will give them more feedback so they can flesh out potential issues without breaking the internet. So this is a good thing. And that's really, that's where we are right now with uh, Microsoft Edge shipping service worker support in their browser. So uh, the first thing you'll see right here is the developer settings, but what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the standards preview section. And the main thing you want to look at is enable service workers. If this is unchecked, then you want to, do you want to check this? And I, I'm going to rephrase this. You want to check this if you want to test out service worker uh, support in Edge. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend keeping this checked on by default because you may be breaking other things um, simply because you're trying to, to flesh things out. So you may get some quirky behavior if you leave this on, just to warn you. But if you turn this on, you will get a little message down here at the bottom. And let's see if I, if I do this, maybe the message, there we go. You need to restart your browser for the changes to take effect. And then you will have to close all the instances of the edge that you may have open and you can restart back up again. And at that point, you will have service worker implementation. And that's honestly all there is to it to turn service worker support on in this fall creators edition. Now, before I go on to actually demonstrate it, what is the plan? Well, the plan is for the fall creators edition to be that beta time frame. And unfortunately, Edge is not really decoupled from the operating system as far as shipping updates just yet. And that's that's an unfortunate thing. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Um, so I think what they're really shooting for, what their goal is, is to be able to ship general consumer uh, availability of service workers uh, with the spring uh, Windows update. I'm not sure what that's going to be called, to be honest with you. I haven't paid attention enough to it. But that's the plan is hopefully by spring they can just turn it on by default and everybody will have access to this wonderful new platform called Service Workers. Now, how are, as, are we as developers going to be able to work with this? Well, right now it's a little interesting, and I'll explain this uh, as we go through. Now, I've got a demo site that I'm putting together for the course that I'm about to release uh, on progressive web apps. And this is my little fast furniture site. I'm running localhost here. Um, but I will have a live version available for you in the near future. So just pay attention. You will definitely want to subscribe to our newsletter uh, so that you can uh, keep up to date on when we announce that course so that you're ready to go. Now I do have a service worker uh, enabled on this and let's go to the developer tools and this is what we got. Okay. Now, um, if you aren't familiar with the edge developer tools, um, that's okay. We'll deal with that. Uh, in another video, maybe uh, we'll go through what's there now. But um, first, let me just go to the console, and you can see that right here, registration was successful, and that is actually coming from my service worker registration code. You're not seeing the activate and the install event uh, messages echoed out here, and I, I think. We should get them in the other one. I haven't looked, to be honest with you. Um, but what we want to look at here is in the debugger. And this is normally where you go to debug JavaScript. And if you're familiar with the Chrome experience for service workers, there would be a node down here uh, for the service worker. But we're not seeing that. I'll explain that here in a minute. We are seeing a node here for service workers, and that's because we do have a service worker that is active and registered. What we don't have is the actual JavaScript. Okay. Now, you can see that we've got our JavaScript here for our client side or our browser tab uh, code like we normally do, and that's good to go. Uh, we also have uh, access to the cache, which is what you would use inside of a service worker to persist things. And you can see it's a little bit different than what you're experiencing in Chrome. In Chrome, you just see the request URL and usually just okay or blank. And I need to talk about those in another video. But I do like this because we get the actual body uh, of the response. Now notice here in the images, you're only getting 
uh, the mime type, you're not actually getting the actual text part, which you get right here. And this is, I think, pretty interesting because you can change it. That's really interesting. We may have to play with that. Um, opaque design. That's this is this is a lot more informative than what Chrome's getting us. So I really really like that. Uh, and then I've got my pre-cache one here. There we go. I notice it's a little bit late in building the list up. I don't think that's a huge problem. I don't know what the internals are here, but we do have access to the cache and we have access to a little more de detail here. So that's really cool. Now, if you're familiar with Chrome and the application tab, there is a service worker sub tab, node, whatever you want to call it. And it's sort of similar to this one. Now you can, I haven't played with the push and the update. I have unregistered one, um, but I haven't played with the push yet. I'll get to that later. Um, but right here we have the service worker for this scope. And if you're not familiar with service workers, you need to uh, definitely take my course on progressive web apps where we will definitely cover the concept of scope. But you can see here we got service worker. It is active and it is running. And we get a little version number here, which is just nice. Now I can stop it. Or I can debug it, which is inspect. Now notice it's not here. When I hit this inspect, we actually get another instance of the developer tools. Now why, you may ask, are we getting a second uh, instance of the developer tools. I'm glad you asked that question. Well, that's because um, your your client, which is what's loaded in your browser tab, runs on a single thread. Your service worker runs on a separate thread. Now, this is where Chrome and Edge will differ a little bit, and I'll just try to explain it real simply here, but the browser tab and the service worker are two totally independent processes. And because of that, the way the developer tools do, they attach to a process and not a thread inside of the browser. And there's a, there's a lot of reasoning for that. I'm not going to go into it here. So basically, there's two separate applications that are running. And if you understand the concept of service workers at a, at a moderately deep level, this totally should make sense to you. Now, um, that being said, the developer tools attached to a process instance. So this instance of the developer tools, which you're going to be able to debug the service worker, are attached to the service worker instance. Okay, And this will give you access to the actual code where you can set breakpoints and everything else that you're normally used to doing watches, things like that. So if we go with the fetch event, we can, let's see, here we go. I'm just going to pop it in here and we'll do this. And when I will go back to, I wonder why I didn't pop down. We'll just go to the categories page and hopefully things won't break on me. Of course they break when I'm trying to record. Why? Why are we doing this? Oh, I know why. That's because I've got a break point. Okay. So it's not going to pop back in uh, front of your face like I'm used to. So anyway, the reason why it stopped is because we were caught right here. Okay, so we got the request object, and you can see that there are the prototypes, which have, there's the URL down there at the bottom. You can't really make it out because my screen's too short, um, but you see all the other stuff that's going on here. What I'm gonna do is do this, and we will hit F8, and hopefully we'll get a response back. There we go. Oh, it just reloaded the whole thing. How about that? That wasn't what I wanted to see. So maybe we found a bug. Like I said, maybe a little bit buggy at the moment. So we got over here. Okay. Well, anyway, like I said, it's still a little buggy at the moment at this moment, <laughs> but uh, that's basically the gist of it. I hope this will help you get started in seeing what's going on with Edge and service workers. And hopefully, as the day goes on, I will be able to figure out some of the issues that I'm seeing right now and make a better video, uh, definitely for the course, because i got to get this stuff recorded for the course so we can get it launched. So, hey, if you got any questions about Edge's plan for service workers or even progressive web apps, be sure to leave them in the comments below, and I'll definitely get back to you as best as I can or maybe even point you to the right resource. And... Um, definitely like the video, share it with your other developer friends because service workers, progressive web apps are super awesome and developers need to be aware of these and share them with your stakeholders, boss, all those people who you need to impress with doing 
and utilizing the web to the best possible ability. Uh, I think this is going to be a great way for you to uh, really enhance your web experiences, your web platform, despite the fact that we're hung up right now. Uh, that's okay. Uh, but hopefully I can figure this out. Maybe you can give some feedback to the team. And that's just it. If you find bugs, report it back to the team. They're always looking for feedback from the field, and they will definitely get back uh, to you one way or another. And hopefully, um, if you find a legitimate problem, fix it for things ship and uh, I can tell you from experience they are they do a wonderful job of doing that so all right uh, again Chris love with love to dev um, definitely keep touch with us so you can stay up to date on the latest news and progressive web apps service workers and web performance optimization